let's get in the mix here. So we are, we are in the middle of a, the snow area and we just, we did a little bit of training. So we have a couple Pokemon to name. So we're gonna start off today. Well, first let's get to the new city then we'll name some Pokemon. So let's get to the new city and then we're gonna, we're gonna name some Pokemon. I got a couple Pokemon I caught that we have to name. But first let's get to the new city. Let's get through here first. Um. So we have to go through this super snowy mountain. I don't beat games often, so once I get all the badges and beat those, I'm I'm win. Even if my Pokedex isn't filled, yeah, yeah. I have filled my Pokedex once or twice, but it's not something that I feel like is a requirement, you know? It's just if you're like really loving the game. Yo, enjoy your football today, Neanderthal. I'm a Hylian fan, oh, I'm a cozy fan. So we added some items to our builds and stuff. We, we changed up our, our Pokemon's teams a little bit. We added some some moves and some items. So I gave I gave my I gave my Torterra soft clay so my earthquake hits harder. I gave um Hollow Raven Shadow Ball so that we could we could cover more things. And then I think I changed up one other move. So I changed up a couple of my team's moves. Did some special things. Yo, AC Manda gifted a sub to Kana. Yeah, you can't shine while it's docked. It sucks, Kana. You have to do it. Um, you have to do it in handheld, from what I've been told. Yo, Kana, congratulations on your gifted sub. AC Manda, thank you so much for the extra love. Get those h -Des heroes out there. Those heroes out there. Thank you very much for the extra love. Seriously, I really do appreciate it. After coming off of being sick, as a streamer who does this full time, you get really worried about like your wallet and like all the sub fall off and like not being around for people to have a chance to resub and stuff. And, and you guys have really been supporting in a big way today and uh, yesterday and even when I was offline to remind me that it's okay to take some time off. Which I'll tell you right now, as a full time content creator, sometimes you forget that taking time off is like okay can you stop hitting yourself what is going on here man confusion is so annoying to be safe i have to heal myself because we're playing this nuzlocke so i have to sit here and waste the heal now oh i added thunderbolt i i, I have thunderbolt in my team now I added the Thunderbolt TM to my Frostlass. So not only do I, I finally have a, I finally have a Thunder, a, a Thunder coverage move. Does a, po does a potion even burn their turn of confusion? I don't, I don't think so. I'm not even sure. I'm just gonna sit here and heal up because this thing's stockpiled like three times. It's about to throw up on me and hit me really hard. So I'm just going to sit here and heal up for a second and let this thing die to hail. I'm just going to play it super safe. We don't want to lose any Pokemon out here. All right, as long as we last one more turn, as long as we last one more turn, this thing's going to die to hail. Me and my brother, when we were younger, stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Yeah, but that's me and my brother, too. Ooh, Tailwind. You gotta love classic Tailwind. For doubles. Alright, peace out, Hella mm -mm -mm. Alright, we got a hippo. A baby hippo coming out. Sandstream takes over. I think as a ground type, I don't get hit by Sandstream, so that's actually really nice. Right, we could just fight this thing now. Oh, I'm still confused. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Please. Please don't hit yourself. Man. 
Shooby dooby dooby dooby. I do have some full heals on me. Will full heal heal up confusion? I forgot about that. I do have some full heals and I do have some some confusion berries. I, I kind of get stubborn when I'm fighting like low, you know, like random mobs. But I need to stop thinking that way because a Nuzlocke, you could lose your life at any time. So I really need to stop thinking that way and I need to start like making a point to use those items often. Cause like, I feel like, I feel like I'm kind of being an idiot. By not taking every battle serious. Like you have to take every battle serious in a Nuzlocke. Even though I do let myself heal, I knew there'd be an item in here. Hey, we got a PP up. We move your fa face cam. Um, I don't feel like moving my face cam today. So you guys are just gonna have to deal with it for today. Um, maybe I'll stand up and stretch and I'll switch my camera out here in a minute. But I don't feel like moving it right now. I, I could switch my camera up in here in just a minute. Give me just a minute and I'll switch my camera. I don't think it full heal gets rid of confusion, but I could be wrong. I know swapping out is right, right? What's up, sir? See you later, Zubat. All right, after this battle, I'll, I'll switch up my camera real quick. I forgot that I, I'm blocking the, blocking the Pokemon. Game. It literally only takes me a second to switch my camera out, so. Another Zubat. Yeah, stretch break is always good, exactly. That's the way I look at it. Switch our camera real quick. We'll stretch. Dang, another Pokemon. Man, these Pokemon got a lot of... Oh, these trainers got a lot of Pokemon out here in these tr in these woods. I got a standing desk and I never use it anymore. I'm so lazy. I really want to get a standing desk or I want to get a desk that has the option of switching to standing. That would be best for me in my stream. It's like halfway through the stream, I could stand up or at the start of the stream, I could be standing and sit. The Pokemon in this... The music in this game is pretty dope, I guess. You got yours for 500, including shipping. I really enjoy it. I've heard good things about standing desk. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna leave you guys right here, as I'm gonna switch up the camera for you. With them. If they use a standing desk so they can dance around on stream, I've actually seen a streamer like that before too. And the whole time they're dancing and bopping around, like really putting on like a very energetic show. They use a standing desk and they just like burn all this energy while they put on their show. I wonder if we're talking about the same guy. I can't remember his name at all. I got hit to him like a long time ago. I haven't watched him since. Do you think they'll make any more expansions to Pokemon Sword? I don't think so. I think they're going to be done with Pokemon Sword and Shield expansions. I think so. Um, but the, but the, but the. All right. She only had one Pokemon. The other person had four. Nice. We found a nugget. Would you recommend this one over Sword and Shield? Um. All right. So the my inner nostalgic says yes because these games are replicas of the classic generation 4 on the nintendo ds and i think that the ds era of pokemon was phenomenal our gold soul silver this game so 
my inner nostalgic says yes, yes, yes. Right? But I think that there is there is something to Sword and Shield is a really good game. Right? I think Sword and Shield is a really beautiful experience, and if you haven't played them, I think you would probably like it if you're a Pokemon fan. So I I want to say yes, I do recommend these games over Sword and Shield. I, I do want to say yes to answer that. It's a tough question, though. I think nostalgia makes me like these games more. But that's a problem. Is the difficulty closer to the original? The difficulty of this game is actually kind of a blend of original versus modern. And that's because they have added modern amenities and like features to the older game. So even though they remade this game, they added modern stuff to the remake. So I think to answer that question, it would be, it's a blend. It has the difficulty of the old games in a lot of ways, but then there's a bunch of modern stuff that they added to make it a little easier on your average gamer. So. Let's, let's do a switch out here because I don't want to, I don't want to chance it. Lower my speed, that's fine. I'm going to st still be way faster than a level 30 something Snover. My Pokemon are starting to get stacked. That's it, I knew you could do it. Old up comes out. That's not good for this switching, but I might just be able to kill it because it's Ah, uh, we should take this more serious. Let's switch in our own gold up. There's a total of 715. Cheese Louise tofu. <laughs> That's a ton. Yeah, I don't know how well I would have took that water pulse. It really depends on... Ooh. Surviving the waste. I love that. Red pirate. Yeah, it really depends on how strong the gold is. You're playing Let's Go Pikachu for the first time? Nice. I've never played those games. I've always wanted to. Let me know what you think, good cat boy dude. At first, my first reaction to those games was no way. And now I kind of regret that I never played them. But my first reaction to those games was like, no way. I don't I don't want to play these games. And now I kind of regret not playing them, so. It looks amazing so far. Yeah, I think I might have to play those games at some point. Another Snover comes out. What is it? Ice ground? Or grass or something? I don't know. We got to be careful here, though. Let's uh, let's switch out the Ka again. I'll let you know when I get deeper into it. Nice. Right. So if you were a Pokemon fan, chat, what was the first Pokemon game you ever played? I mean, even if you're not a fan, what was the first Pokemon game you ever played. The first Pokemon game I ever played was Pokemon Blue on the original Big Brick Game Boy. The OG. Red for you, so call me nothing. Really like the idea of the remake of the original games, but the whole Pokemon Go spin on it wasn't my favorite, even though I genuinely enjoyed Pokemon Go. Yeah, I agree with that, so call me nothing. Your first was Emerald. Nice. Oh, you bought it for the Mew on BDSP? Yeah, there you go. Gotta get that Mew, baby. Pokemon, your first Pokemon was Diamond. So are you gonna play the remakes, DJ Psycho Slayer, or do you not have time? All right, let's go back and go to the Heal Hut. There's actually a Heal Hut, like, right here. We haven't gone far. Let's just go back to this Heal Hut real quick. 
and we don't even have to waste our items. Your white Game Boy Advance and Sapphire? Oh, nice. This Pokemon game, Brilliant Diamond. I love that CP Cat low. I love that you stepped out of your box of normal games and you're trying something new. I'm planning on getting the new diamond soon. Nice. Never had a Game Boy, so my first Pokemon game was Pokemon Snap on GameCube. Um, I think we'll keep our current team. We already beat you. Let's go ahead and check for items here. There's something right by us. Full heal. I love free stuff. Nice! Your first one was Pokemon Mystery Dungeons. Those Mystery Dungeon games are slept on. I have it on my Switch. Did you buy the... Did you buy the remake of Mystery Dungeon? You play Stardew? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We actually are going to be starting a Stardew Valley playthrough sometime in the near future. I wanted to start Stardew after we beat Pokemon. So, depending on how much Pokemon takes over my life, you are probably going to see a Stardew Valley playthrough here soon on, on, on Twitch. We used to do, we've done playthroughs in the past. Stardew Valley was my second most watched game next to Animal Crossing for a long time. And then I took a break because I got a little burnt out of Stardew. And um, I just focused on AC and like other farming simulation games like Story of Seasons. And I would like to, I I'm gonna play it again. We're gonna play more Stardew Valley, but Stardew Valley got pushed back a little bit of pokemon and because of the animal crossing hype so i'm hoping to start stardew another playthrough like at the end of this playthrough, which could be another week or two we'll see though we'll see how i'm feeling i don't want to start too many games at one time but december is a really good month for us to play stardew because i don't have a ton going on so this would be a really good month for us i have three copies of a of the game pc switch ps4 totally forgot about ps4 copy you want to talk about bank i logged into that bad boy and was like whoa i'm rich nice nice i own this game i've bought stardew valley i think 10 times i've given it away like eight times and i bought it on switch and on steam i really really love that game who was your spouse um my last official so i always marry I always marry um, Leia, and I don't really change it up too much. Um, I kind of like Leia a lot. But the last official run I did, I think we married Maru. We married Maru. And then the last run I did in my free time was Leia again. So Leia and Maru. You tried a mystery dungeon demo, but you couldn't get the full game because of money issues. Yeah, sometimes it'd be like that. How are you, by the way, UK net? I didn't even say hi to you. Good to see you here today. Speaking of something new, I'm playing Monster Rancher 1 and 2 on Switch. Wait, did I just get Rock Climb? Wait, I just got Rock Climb. I probably can't use it till the 7th gym, though. Nice. More than one waifu will ruin your life waifu. <laughs> I like that. I couldn't handle more than one anyways. I'm a dedicated lover. My first to play was red. First to buy Ruby Sapphire. Nice. What's up, DKT? You're going Christmas caroling in an hour. Ooh, what's your favorite Christmas carol? While I was fighting through my blizzard, I dropped TM Rock Climb. It's yours to keep. Oh, he gave me Icicle Plate. That's probably for ice type moves. We actually might be able to make use of that. Do we we have an ice type Pokemon, but I don't know what item that she has. She has her amulet coin. Let's go ahead and give her. Let's go ahead and give her um. Held item. Given an item. 
go ahead and give her the new icicle plate we just got. Powers up ice type moves, I, I assume. I didn't read it, but is that what the icicle plate does, Chet? Also, guess what I forgot to do? I forgot to add, I forgot to add freaking amulet coin back. I want a big dumb baby over here with no amulet coin. I gotta get that, gotta get that dough. How do you sort? Can you sort by name? There we go. We should probably sort all of our stuff by name. We'll sort by type for berries. Okay. Yo, what's up, official quick balls? How you doing, baby? Solid team? Yeah, here, let me go through my team again, just in case you guys haven't seen it. Here's our squad right now. So we have a level 50 Portera, and look at my stat spread. And if you guys didn't know, you could press X and you could see where your EVs have gone. So for if you wanna, if you are like me and your team got random EVs from just playing the game, you can actually see your EV spread. So most of my EV spreads are pretty even because like I just fought everything, but my EV spread's pretty good here. We got extra special defense and a little bit of extra attack and a little bit of extra HP. Kind of high defense, kind of low special attack, which is what we want. So my EV spread's not too bad here. Not not too bad at all. And then we have Jolly, my, I got my Storm Drain Gastrodon. And again, the EVs kind of worked out. HP and special defense, kind of light on the defense, kind of mix between attack and special attack, which is stupid, but whatever. Not terrible. Um, here's my ponytail. My ponytail is completely even spread with a little bit more attack, which is what we want. And a little bit more speed, which is what we want. Yeah, you could, there actually is items that can reduce. Yeah, exactly. They're berries, H dude. My only worry is I might actually do that before we get to the elite four. I think we're going to eat those berries and we're going to go train specific Pokemon for EVs. I, I've decided. Before we go to the Elite Four, I think we're going to do a little bit of EV training. And we're going to we're gonna actually try to make our Pokemon a little bit better before we go to the Elite Four. It's a hymn. It's called, Oh Little Town of Bethlehem. I'm hip to that one. I'm hip to that one. I kind of grew up in a religious family and stuff, so I'm hip to like all those songs. Yo, welcome back, Bobby Girl. How was your Christmas shopping? All right. And then here we have um, my Gold Duck. He's actually a modest gold duck. The only problem is, is that he has damn, but you don't want damn, but damp is good for a Nuzlocke because my gold duck can't be exploded. on. So I actually kind of don't mind having damp, even though it's the weaker ability. And look, he has a complete even spread, a little bit more speed but a complete even spread. Again, you're looking at the yellow. You're looking at the yellow here. So, I mean, not terrible, but he's pretty basic. Like he just has a, a decent speed that's better than everything else. And then his attack and special attack were even, which is not what you want, blah, blah, blah. But he's okay. He's just very even. Um, Somehow my Alakazam with inner focus, which is pretty nice, actually got speed and special attack. I don't know how I did it, but it got speed and special attack. And it didn't, it got a little special defense, which is kind of useless. You don't really want defense stats on a speed sweeper, but my Alakazam is actually ready to get out there and maybe do some damage. Um, And then here is my Frostlass. My Frostlass is randomly up special defense, lower defense. I don't think you want that at all. And it has snow cloak, which again, is just like, whatever. But up attack, which is trash. This this Pokemon's not really that good. No offense, SJO. <laughs> up attack, its attack stat is higher than its special attack right now, which is miserable. <laughs> it has all special attack moves, but no, because I thought it was gonna level out. It hasn't leveled out yet. Um, it does, however, have a really nice speed stat. 
So this guy, this Pokemon is just going to come out and hopefully be faster than a lot of other stuff. So like 143 speed, it's almost as fast as my Alakazam. It's faster than my freaking Gold Duck. So this Pokemon's going to come out and just hopefully be faster than the opponent and just do something important. I don't know. But uh, and let's go check out the moves. So right now my move set is I added Thunderbolt. I have Hex, Frost, Broth, and Ice Shard. I have Shadow Ball. I have a ton of coverage on this character. Ton of coverage. Of Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, Focus Blast, Psychic. A Gold Duck is two water moves, Confusion, and si Ice Beam. I want to change that Confusion for like Psychic at some point or something. I don't even need Psychic coverage, so I could probably just drop it for something more useful. But for now, it's fine. Um, the Ice Beam's good for coverage. Uh, I, I think that. It's probably good to have another psychic type attack just in case the Alakazam goes down. Um, my Rapidash, two fire attacks. I'd like to replace one of those fire attacks with maybe something else, but right now it's okay. Smart Strike, a nice little steel attack. It's kind of kind of weak, but it'll do the job. I even gave it a steel plate. And then classic move set here: keep the recover on the tank. Ancient power for the rock coverage, earth power for a phys or for a, a a magic ground attack versus earthquake being physical, I believe, and then muddy water for the accuracy lower classic, especially for doubles, and then of course my monster here, stay cozy, crunch classic gonna probably stay the whole game, razor leaf could be something different, but I can't find any other physical grass attacks right now. Earthquake and Curse, so I can if I can set up Curse on this Pokemon, it might just walk through. Oh, it might just walk through teams. So my plan is to hopefully get this Pokemon to be able to set up Curse and avoid some Ice Beams, right? And that's it. That is Z Squat. We're doing pretty good here. Let's go ahead and get Hollow Raven up for some experience. Yeah, we're doing we're doing pretty good here. We got a, we got a squad here. All right, did we fight you? No. All right, Hollow Raven's waiting for instructions. Let's just pump some psychics into the marrow. Does Frostlass even have any utility other than damage? I'm not sure what Frostlass is capable of. I haven't I haven't Cerebeat it yet. I haven't looked it up on Cerebee. I do have a hard skill. We could go check and see the hard skill abilities. I know it has a little bit of utility. But it's gonna end up just being a, a special sweeper with some coverage for me. I think I think all Frostlass's role in my team is gonna be to have to have extra damage ice attacks and like thunderbolt or some other coverage that i might be able to use that's about it it's just gonna be like a coverage pokemon with like really hard ice stab attacks and it also has ghosts so i can also give it ghost stab attacks which could be useful so is it able to set up aurora veil now that would be beautiful I'm going to have to do some research and find out. I don't know if it can. I'll have to look it up. But Ghost Stab, Ice Stab, very useful skills to have. So um, I don't Where do I go? Where's the move relearner? Once we get to the Ice City so I can fly there, we can go. We can go around and check some stuff out. We got to name some Pokemon. I think that's I don't know where you name. Do you guys remember what city you name Pokemon at? somewhere in the south city so we, we can go do that stuff after we we got to get to the snow city first so we can fly back here hearth home anticipation on the crow gut all right this could be a little weird 
I think Krogunk is Dark and Poison or something. I know they have Sucker Punch. Marshtown? Okay, Marshtown. Barefoot in the snow. He's a champion. All right, we'll head over to Marshtown. And then we have to find the 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 name raider. Ginger King, do you know what city the name raider is at? Ooh, the Calm Mind setup. This Pokemon's not going to be able to set up Calm Mind. It can't take the hits. I don't want to go for that. Eternia City, where the Underground Man is, is the name right here. Okay, thank you. I remember what the building looks like. I just didn't remember what city. We might go back and change up the move sets once we get to the Elite Four. But for right now, we're going to skip out on some of those like setup abilities until I'm a little bit more comfortable with what I'm doing with this team. I also leveled up a couple Pokemon last night. So, last night I leveled up the Lucario and a couple other Pokemon to get prepared for just in case something bad happens. They're all like level 20, 30. So we got some backups. We did not find Ioni. We called it quits for today. We'll be back to hunting Ioni tomorrow. Ioni will be hunted for tomorrow. Um, we are at... 1215 tickets crazy we're gonna come back tomorrow we did over 100 tickets today my brain was melting it's gonna be rough on the elite four i know i know it's gonna be bad that's why i'm trying to prepare the best i can for elite four that's why I'm like i'm really taking this serious like i'm doing like competitive pokemon because that's the only way i'm gonna survive the elite four is if i take this stuff like very serious no we didn't find ioni not yet Sadly. What's up? What's up, Midnight? Yeah, we're gonna take it very cheesily serious, like sweaty serious. The thrill of the hunt. <laughs> Alright, what's this house? Hello, lady. A person? A rare sight? Thank you for visiting. Spell tag? I don't remember what that does. You sound like you're still not feeling well. I'm, um, I'm mostly healed up. I still have a lot of physical fatigue and six hours into my stream, I'm starting to get kind of tired. I'm not going to lie. Like I'm, I'm pooped right now. I'm not, I don't have my normal energy six hours into a stream, seven hours, normally seven hours into a stream. I'm pretty okay. I am pooped right now. So I am a little tired. I'm okay though. Just a little tired. Oh, we should be putting Jolly in just front of every battle. <laughs> I want to level up my Pokemon evenly, but I want Amulet Coin. I want that money. Using a dousing machine, looking for stuff under the ground. Yo, so am I. What's over here? If you're if you're reminding me about the dousing machine, what's over here? This boulder is encrusted with ice. Oh, is this where the ice rock is for your for an ice for a Glaceon? Oh, this is where you get a Glaceon at. Yo, what's up, Honey Mint? Hey, Hardy Welcome's in the chat. What's up? Hello. Hello. All right, let's see what kind of Pokemon are in this grass. I think I might have already caught... I think I might have already caught... one of them. You get gifted an Eevee after the National Dex is completed. Nice. I'm gonna listen to this while you play Animal Crossing. Nice. Hey, we just finished playing some AC Honeyman. Welcome to the channel today. Wait, we just finished up looking for Ioni. No luck. Okay, let's go. I think we found a lot of rare items, so I don't think there's much left. We got another battle right here to deal with. And I'm gonna check my boxes real quick and show you guys what I did. So here's what I did off stream. 
We got Atilna, our Jirachi, or yeah, Jirachi to level 30. We we got Sword of Vintage, our Burmy, which is now what is this Pokemon's name? Mothim to level 30. I have a Snover at level 32, I just caught. I have a Bronzor that is actually gonna be replacing the Bronzor. The Bronzor comes here to represent a Pokemon that died. And we could just get rid of this. Well, we're gonna keep this because somebody gifted it to me. Alright, um. We had we we hatched our Lucario egg. And we have a level 22 Riolo. We caught ourselves a Munchlax and named it Munchy Lego because Munchy requested that. We caught a Hound Doom as well. So the Pokemon that we need to name once we get to the city, you guys are going to be able to to join a poll to be named my Pokemon. We have to name these four Pokemon. We have to name the Manaphy that we hatched, the Hound Doom, the Snover, and the Riolo. And I leveled them up a little bit so we could start getting them some some EVs and start getting them prepared just in case something bad happens. So we leveled them up a little bit. Uh, the Munchie, the Munchlax and the Houndoom came at level 40 because I got them from the underground. But we gave some of these Pokemon some experience. When you try to catch that snow. Actually, I got pretty lucky to get a Munchlax. Does Obama snow <laughs> get the hail storm ability? I think. What does mine have? Snow warning. Yeah. A Pokemon summons a hail storm when it enters the battle. I want to see Obama snow from Mama snow. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, this is snow warning. So I think it keeps snow warning, right? I'm assuming it keeps it as it levels up to Obama Snow. That's incredibly broken alongside Frostlass. I was considering running a party that used Snow Warning. I told the chat I was thinking about running the, an Obama Snow because they have good coverage for some of the Pokemon in Cynthia's team, like a couple. Like it could take a, it could take a, take on Melotic. And it could take an earthquake from Garchomp. I thought about running an Obama Snow. This one's minus speed plus special defense, which is probably what we want. We probably want it to be tanky. So I might run this Pokemon once we get to our final stage. The only problem is I have a lot of I would have to change my team up because I have a lot of I have a lot of fire resist or fire weakness. Like right now, my team has two fire weaknesses so if i were to add obama snow it'd be three fire weaknesses i think oh, i think snover is weak to fire as well right yeah double weak so i'd have to like i'd have to like take out i'd have to switch it out for one of the other fire weaknesses which could be I don't know. I don't know. That, that's the tough thing I have to deal with. If I want to put Obama Snow in and keep Frostlass and keep Cozy, I'm going to have to have a really, really... I'm going to have to be really smart about my switches into Jolly. Because Jolly can be switched into any fire attack and take the hit really well. So I have some resistances to fire, but it just puts my team in a really bad place, you know? So we might have to change our whole team up if we're going to add Obama Snow. All right, let's go battle. What? What? A Pokemon battle? Rosalia. Listening to you, I just got a carrot bagel sandwich. Nice. Nice. And Animal Crossing got the DIY. For a second, I thought you were talking about real life. <laughs> I was like, wait, those exist?
Is it a carrot on a bagel or is it a carrot baked into a bagel like a carrot cake? I don't know. Which one is it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We're going to drop Giga Dream, even though it's not a terrible move to have. <laughs> Both. All right, let's switch to our... Let's quickly switch to our amulet coin Pokemon for that money. Nice, we soaked up that water attack with Storm Drain. Ace Trainer Olivia. 5k. That's why we use Amulet Coin. 5k. That's how you get all the items, chat. I know I seem ridiculous that I do this, but I want the free items. I want the free items. All right, we got out of the storm. Oh, there's, there's freaking grunts up here. Goons are up here. We got grunts over here. Uh-oh. Wild Sneasel. Ooh, do we want to catch a Sneasel? What is he, Dark Ice or something? It's just Thunderbolt. Fury swipes doesn't affect me. I'm ghost type, noob. You noob wild Pokemon. Haha. <laughs> noob. What's this way? Okay, there's more pet. I don't know if we're supposed to go into that cave or not. I imagine they're not gonna let me in that cave, but that might be the next quest. Let me see, let me see what my quest is. Yeah, they do want me to go in that cave. I wanna go to the city first, the city's right here. I'm trying to get that city so I can fly to it. You're right back going to marry Sarah Lee. <laughs> Get it, boyo. We got an Ultra Ball. Eh. Eh. Free stuff's free stuff, but that could have been a Master Ball. You know what I'm saying? Just saying. What are you doing out here, Metatite? Why is there a Metatite up in the snowy mountains? Mm -hmm. Get out of here. What are you doing up here in the snow, you bum? Don't worry about why I'm in the snow. All right, we made it to Snow Point City. Oh, it's like a cute little snowy town. Look at this. I love this. Snow Point City. Where does this boat take us? A great trainer recognized by the Pokemon League. I look forward to carrying someone like that on my ship. Oh, where does that ship take us, Chad? This snowbound town is always freezing cold, but the spirits of the trainers and their Pokemon burn hot bright, especially the gym leader. What? What do you mean? What kind of Pokemon does the gym leader have? There's nothing here and that's what makes it unique? 
right, now we can fly back to the city. Let's go and take care of some business. Sai Sai. All right. Bum, 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 bum. I love Psyduck so much. Yeah, me too. I like, I've always liked Psyduck. Gym leader Candace, the Diamond Dust Girl. So is she an ice type? Diamond Dust? Hey, I'm not dead yet. Yo, Hollow Raven, no, we're, we got you powerful. We just gave you Shadow Ball. We got some coverage now. We got Shadow Ball and Dazzling Gleam, Psychic and Focus Punch. Which gave you Shadow Ball. Even though it was only a one use TM, I thought it was worth it. All right, what are we picking up here? We already have all of these types of Pokeballs. We have all these types of balls. We sure do. Um, let's go ahead and pick up, let's go and pick up five more repels. Grabs five more regular repels as well. Okay. You know, we have a bunch of stuff to sell. We'll sell it all later. All right, what else is here? Is this guy stuck in here? Candace is teaching me about Pokemon. She says I'll start by making friends with Pokemon. Well, she just sounds like the most lovely trainer ever. Candace, the gym leader. She understands that friendship wins the day. You go in a Snow Point Temple, you know you're not allowed to go in? Snow Point Temple? You chose the perfect outfit for the weather. Even I feel warmer just by looking at you. I'll give you these because I'm so impressed. Burning stickers. All right, let's see who's in this house. Gotta check every house, gotta check every building. Hello, hello, do you know what Trendy's saying? Um, brilliant. You just read my mind, didn't you? What is he talking about? Trendy saying? What do I say to him? Shiny. Electrode. Illumination. What does this guy what does this guy want from me? Yo, what's up, crew? Good to see you. I got a shiny one in Pokemon Go today and I gasp. It's my favorite shiny. Aw. That's what, the shiny Psyduck? I do like shiny Psyduck, actually. I love how my girl has so much vivacity and charm By any chance do you have a pokemon named metacham metacham for a haunter Ooh. i do not have a metacham ac manda gifted a sub to cruel crossing ac manda is on fire today with another gifted sub over to cruel crossing cruel crossing welcome officially to the deku scrub squad welcome back always so great to be here thanks for all the good times you rock. Yo, Lizasaurus Rex with a 10 month are coming in. Thank you, chat. Thank you again, AC Manda. Thank you seriously for, for all the love. I really do appreciate you. I hope that you are enjoying the show and I appreciate you taking the time to support the fam. Thank you, Lizasaurus, for 10. You rock. No, you. The Haunter has an Everstone, so it doesn't evolve. It's a troll. All right, all right. We can leave this city now. So the first place the chat sent me was Marshtown. No, Pest, yeah, the Great Marsh, Pestora. And this is where I'm looking for the heart scale person to see if what, what moves Frostlass can learn in its previous at life. And then we have to go to Eternia City for the Name Raider. Oh, we got berries here ready for us. Let's go ahead and snatch these up. We should probably start planting berries again soon, but. Doom, ba -da -da boom. I've just been like taking the berries. I haven't been planting them. I do need these citrus berries, so I'm actually really happy I planted these. What's up? Where I'm standing is smack dab in the middle of town. Good for you. Is this my heart scale guy?
All right, let's see what, what she can learn. So she can learn Will-O-Wisp. So, yo, love, love Maki. Sorry, but you can't be doing that. So we're just going to ban you since you did it twice. Bye. Everyone say bye to love, live Maki. Bye. See ya. Bye. Go make your next Twitch account. Bye. <laughs> we'll see you when you on your next Twitch account. <laughs> um. So Will O Wisp is not the worst decision because I could Will O Wisp and then I could hex. So once they're once they're burned, I could hex them. Plus Will O Wisp is a perfect utility move because it lowers the attack of the opponent if you if you burn them. So I have the option of Will O Wisp. I also have the option of Hail. Confuse Ray. So there is a little bit of utility. Your alt got banned. What happened? No, somebody just came and spammed some YouTube links. I don't I didn't click on them. We have Draining Kiss, which is a fairy move. Double team leer, crunch, headbutt, um, bang, bite, protect, destiny bond. We have destiny bond, which is like a crazy last minute for a nuzlocke, and powdered snow. So we don't really have access to too much. I could definitely do like Will-O-Wisp. I could definitely do like Will-O-Wisp. But I think I'm going to hold on to her current moveset. No Aurora Veil, sadly. Yeah, so that we're going to hold on to that for now. I really wish we had the Link falling sound from Melee playing right now. I know. I'm going to work on that. I'm going to get that going for us. <laughs> like you're speaking to my soul right now. All right. Um, and then Eternia City is where we find the name raider. All right, chat. You guys ready to name some Pokemon? Um, Here's what we're going to do. We're going to open up a giveaway. If you would like to if you would like to be named after some of my Pokemon, I have like five or six Pokemon. Type exclamation point pokey in the chat. And we're about to name like five or six Pokemon in a row. If you would like to be named after my mom. I think this guy has something for me. What's up, Artifice Nations? Ooh, we? Ooh, we. I think somebody was supposed to give me something here. The digger drill. I don't know what the drill does. Oh, I need to make I need to make a secret base. That's what he wants me to do. That's my next assignment. Okay. All right. The name raider is in a hotel. I remember the name raider is in a hotel. Here he is. Are any of them dark type? No, I don't think so. Definitely getting this game. It's very cute. It is a pretty cute game, right? All right. Does he actually open up my box as well? He does. Okay. All right. Here we go. Our first Pokemon to be. Oh, we do have a Hound Doom. Yeah, there is a dark Pokemon. There's a Hound Doom. And I'll let you choose which Pokemon out of the four. You guys can actually, you can actually name, you can actually choose a Wormpool. Oh, you can't name a Pokemon from someone else. I can't change the name of the Aeron and the Wormpool because they are, I got those from other players. So not those, but it can be any of these. All right, so survey says, let's pick our first one. Lizasaurus Rex, do you want to be named after my Manaphy? You want to be named after my Riolo? You want to be named after my Snover or my Houndoom? Oh, here, let me open it back up again for you. If you want to get in here, you can get it. Type it again. If you if you didn't get in here when it was still open. I was able to find my Pokemon game in storage the other day. Nice. Nice. Yeah, we are still going. Good to see you in here. Uh, Rum Runner. What's up, Manda? Good to see you in here as well. Mm -mm. You love Snover's Cry. All right, let's pick a couple more. 
DJ Psycho Slayer, Britty Machine, and So Call Me Nothing. You are the four that are being named. So what do you, what would you, what would you want? What do you want? Whoever speaks up first at this point, because I think Lizasaurus might have AFK'd. Who do you, you want to be? Houndoom? Okay. You'll take Manaphy, Brit Britty? Oh, sorry. Manaphy's taken, Slayer. All right, I don't know if I can fit your full name in here. So it might have to be... So call me nothing. Okay, so I could say so call me nut. So call? Okay. So call. Yo, Lizasaurus, what's up? You won to get name. Wait, why didn't it change the name? Did I press B? Oh, I pressed the B button. Oops. Yeah, I pressed the B button. Okay. All right, we got that. Let me give the mana fee to Britty Machine. So these Pokemon might get used at some point if we if we start losing Pokemon. All right, I'm going to do Britty Machine without an E. Is that cool? We'll do Britty Machine without an E. Or you could just be Britty. What do you want? Pretty is fine. No, we did not find Ioni, sadly. 250, 1,250 tickets in. It's getting heated. So here we have, here's your two options. Lizasaurus, you have Ryolu or Snover. And I'll give the, the one that's left over to Slayer. So do you want to be this guy who turns into a Lucario? Also, look at my Lucario's nature. I got a physical, I got a freaking adamant Lucario. Look at that. The Lucario that came out of an egg was steadfast, which I don't know if steadfast is the preferred ability, but he's physical attack up, special attack down. I, I, I kind of want to run this Lucario. He actually is pretty good. Okay. He actually turned into a little, little firecracker. Liz Asaurus. Did I spell that right? No, I didn't. Hold on. That one fit. Liz Asaurus Rex. That one fit. Perfect. All right, and then our last catch off stream is the Snover. We're going to do... I'm not going to be able to fit full DJ Psycho Slayer. Do you want to just be Psycho Slayer? You want to be DJ Psycho, DJ Slayer? What would you prefer? Good thing Lucario can run both special attack and physical. Oh, can he? Can Lucario do both? I wasn't sure. I've actually never ran a Lucario in a team before. I've actually never ran a, a Lucario before. All right, there we go. We got our new Pokemon name. You could do both. I didn't know for sure. We got our new Pokemon named. Nice. We got our squad right here. So now we have backup Pokemon in case stuff gets dicey. And we also have options to change our team up before the Elite Four. So we're doing pretty good here. Lucario is considered a mixed sweeper, but certainly an adamant nature is going to push towards physical. He's a mixed attacker, so you're good with either. What about his ability? What's the best? What's the preferred ability on a Lucario? Because Steadfast is pretty good, but in doubles, I think Steadfast would be better. So without doubles, I, I think there has to be a better ability, right? All right, let's head up to the snow world and let's go do the quest that we're on. We're on a quest to go to Lake, whatever lake this is up here. You know, I, mean, I never played singles either. Yeah, H, dude. I've never played singles. I'm glad I'm not the only one. His aura spear won't ever miss, but it's special. It's special, so all oh, dang. Steadfast is fine. 
I'm legit tickled that you have a good pupper named for me. Oh, yeah, yeah, we got a pupper. My boss hacked the Lucario with its smash move set for me once. Wait, really? <laughs> That's cool. That's actually rad. Uh, I, I played a little Lucario in my Smash Brothers days. I'm assuming I can't do this gym until I do the quest. Let's go see if we can do the gym first. I'll do this gym first if we can. Oh, we're doing this gym. Oh, are we doing this gym? All right, let's go ahead and start a prediction here. Will we lose a Pokemon in this entire gym? Will we lose a Pokemon in this entire gym? Including the gym leader. All right, you guys can have, I'll give you a full 10 minutes to predict on this. Will we lose a Pokemon in this gym? I prefer inner focus on Lucario. It prevents flinching and intimidate doesn't lower stats. Okay, this is a this is an ice puzzle. This is an ice puzzle. Okay, 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 okay. Um I guess we just run the Ka up front during the duration of this dungeon. And just just fire our way through most things. I know there's gonna be lots of coverage, but I think we'll just run the car through most of this dungeon and we should be fine. All right, ice is a little bit of a rough thing for me just because of my, because of cozy. I should be fine in this dungeon. Let's go. I don't know what your team looks like, but I'm gonna say yes. Mm, 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 mm. All right, we got some ace trainers, which can always come out with some big guns. Yeah, I'm not going to be using Cozy. Yeah, I think I'm going to be good otherwise. Let's avoid that Pokemon entirely. So, like, see, they already sent out a Floatzel, which is actually a problem here. So, we'll do a... We'll do a quick switch into Cozy for this. This will be easy. Alright, now we're getting some good predictions in. That's what I like to see, babe. All right, super razor leaf, super effective. Oh, Ice Fang comes out. Now, my Pokemon could take some hits, but I should have expected Ice Fang. I kind of forgot. Electric is good here, too. So I have an Ice type Pokemon with electric moves. So. That'll, that'll be my back pocket here, my ace. Don't let Cozy die. I don't think Cozy will die to anything that isn't a pretty charged up attack. It's, it's a pretty tanky Pokemon. What do we got, a Sneasel coming out in front of us? Let's just switch out to the car. Just woke up from your nap. Yo, welcome in. We just entered the seventh gym, the ice gym. Would you just up your attack? Yeah. And your accuracy. Okay. We'll just flame charge. Even though I think flame wheel hits harder. I think we're fine here. Fighting types are good here as well. Just be careful using Alakazam. Because of dark type moves. Ace Trainer Sega. All right, let me go ahead and we're gonna drop a heal, some healing right away. Just make sure that my back line is okay, just in case I need to switch in. Oh, I didn't know you could go down. Okay. All right, let's let's get all these battles. We're, we're trying to get all the battles, so we're not trying to get to the boss yet. Just we gotta get all these battles. In. All right, Ace Trainer Savannah sent out a Pelipper. We sent out a fire Pokemon. All right, maybe we should switch the fire Pokemon out and put something that's neutral up front because this is getting annoying. That's the second water Pokemon that has come out here. Getting very, very annoying. So we'll, we'll switch to a neutral starter here. I'm sick of this already. Switch over to a neutral starter and we'll just smack this thing in the teeth. So we'll, we'll switch out Jolly. Wait, we'll have Jolly go out. Our Pokemon all get Dragon as a secondary. That'd be dope. My friend was hunting and she found both Shino and Ioni under 15 tickets. 
<laughs> Sometimes the luck is in others' favor. Certainly not in mine. You're going caroling? Yo, we'll see you later, counter. Good luck out there. Enjoy. Nice, we got the we got the stat boost. Nice. Not the time I need that, but thank you. And then a gold dog. Yeah, lots of water Pokemon. Okay, so they're definitely trying to bait and switch me with a bunch of water Pokemon out here. And oh, we could just earth power this thing. It's pretty hard for a Gastrodon. It was stabbed though, and it is a lot of a lower like my Pokemon are 15 levels higher than this stuff, so. Oh, a Steelix comes out. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, we'll just Earth Power again. Better accuracy than Muddy Water. Sturdy. Sturdy is always something you gotta look out for. Sturdy. Iron Tail avoided the move because my Pokemon all love me. Oh, thank you. Typings here are so wack. All right, it is a lot of ace trainers. Ace trainers are known for having just like anything, right? So I guess I should stop looking at it as much of an ice gym as more of just an ace trainer gym and just suck it up and, and deal with it. All right, let's go ahead and switch our items back here and let's just switch Jolly back up front again. Jolly will be a good introduction to most Pokemon we run into here. All right, there we go. I'm assuming I have to like move these Pokeball or these Snowballs around for the puzzle here. I haven't messed with that yet. Once we get around and get all the battles, we'll, we'll try to do the puzzle. So these Snowvers can definitely have grass attacks because they're grass ice. So Snowvers are a little bit of a problem for my Jolly because gra I'm, I'm times four weak to grass. So I do need to be careful about these freaking Snowvers. I think Obama Snow is still grass ice. I think so. So we do got to be careful about these Snowvers. They come out with like a super hard hitting wood hammer or something. I think my Gastrodon will be fine, but it's still going to hit me really hard. What am I supposed to do? I can't. Oh, you have to slide through it. Okay. Bum, ba -da -bum, bum, ba -da -bum, bum. Okay, you have to get speed. Oh, so you have to kind of get speed to, to slide through some of this stuff. Nice. Okay, so that's how you break that stuff. All right, I want to get this battle. Oh, come on. Let me have that battle. No, please. Battle me, guy. This guy stinks on ice. Battle me. Okay, I probably have to start from somewhere else. Mm, 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 mm. Where does this take me? This takes me back up here. Yeah, okay. Let's go back up. I want to battle this chick, and then there's the chick up there. So we have three battles left. We have three battles left here. Where's this go? Back over here. So these go cruising next to the other side. This one breaks that, which is what we would want. We're going to have to redo this anyways when we come back to after healing. So I'm not really trying to do the puzzle here. I'm just trying to get myself some Obama snow. More like Obama's no. Yo, what's up, low one? Okay, where's this go? 
t t t t today Junior. Oh, I have to tinkle. My brain's just thinking about having to pee right now. <laughs> okay, we should have got up here. Okay, we got this battle. Let's go. Yeah, good to see you here today, love. All right, we got a sneasel coming out. Should be able to handle this just fine. Ancient power. Sneasel's faster, which is fair. Gastrodon's pretty slow. Just peace in, yeah. <laughs> And to cruel. Now that was not something I was expecting. What is it? Poison water or something? I don't even know what types this thing is. We should hit it with another ancient power. Oh, not a sludge bomb. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of, the poison. Uh, whatever. It's not a big deal. Oh, nice. It healed the poison. I don't feel like switching out. I'm just going to earth power the heck out of this thing. I guess earth power was my best option here. Yeah, I, I guess rock was actually super stupid of me. As far as my moveset, earth power was my best option here. I don't, why did I choose ancient rock? Yeah, what the heck was I thinking? Okay, I think we want to slide down here. I kind of want to go over here and slide down here. Okay, that's not where we want to be. Fight me. Nice. All right, we're missing one battle in this place after this. And we want all that experience. We want all that juicy experience. She sends out Snover. I'm poisoned. I'm probably slower than the Snover. Well, nah, probably not. I'm, I'm a lot higher level. Oh no, we cleared, we heard our, we uh, cured our poison. We should be good. And with another ancient power. Nice. All right, next battle. Let's go. All right, every battle has been done. Now we have to solve the puzzle and we have to fight the gym leader. Here we go, baby. Got to take out Isaiah here with a Quagus Sire. Oh, this is my chance for Cozy to come shine. I don't think I'm going to switch here, though. Yo, Tortuga with 11. Bring it in, Tortuga. Bring it in for the 11. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Hope you've been well, bud. Oh, the yawn. Oh, hit me with the yawn techniques. Okay. Okay. Another earth power. Seal the deal. All right, we're done with Quaggy. And the 90 bitties. All right, let's go. All right, let's go heal. And then let's go to the official gym leader of this town. Seventh gym bench. 
here we come. Now, I assume this gym leader is ice, so we might switch the Ka back up. We're gonna switch Ponyta back to first. I think we're gonna do that. Give Ponyta the, the amulet coin and just go in with like fast fire attacks and just, let me double check and see what this thing is. Yeah, ice type Pokemon. Now, it, maybe it's obvious for me to start Maybe it's a little too obvious for me to start with a fire Pokemon. They're probably not going to come out with a fire, an ice type right away. It almost might be better for me to come out with a different Pokemon, but I'm going to go for the ice type anyway. told me to get the Jolly or Adamant Nature Sheiks, but I wanted to ask you which nature should I get for Shinx? I made Jolly or Adamant. I think you want Jolly. I think Shinx... Here, I'll look it up for you real quick since you're asking. Oh, all the... All of the balls that I destroyed are actually gone. Oh. All the balls I destroyed are actually still gone. Nice. Okay. Well, we can go ahead and get this then. We. Okay, now we just need to figure out how to get to that staircase. Okay, that's one step closer. Okay, I see. I see what I'm supposed to do here. I used to love these puzzles as a kid, man. Okay. Now we have one more to break. I know how to get that one. Let me get let me get over there. Solving the ice puzzles in Pokemon is so satisfying. 100% agreed. Alright, we messed up there. Oops. I need to start from here. No, please. <laughs> Dang, that's not where I wanted to be. I want to start from here. There we go. Boom. All right, then we have one more to break, which... Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Aha, there is a way to do this. Perfect. This goes here. This goes here. Boom shakalaka. All right, now we just have to go down those stairs. I think we got it. Boom. Okay, we're going to keep Jolly up front. Pull the car out on a safe switch if we need. What is Jolly afraid of? Jolly's afraid of grass attacks. But has like pretty decent defense. I think we just keep Jolly up front. I think Jolly's my my tank in this situation. Pretty healthy. So let's actually keep Jolly for a switch in then. Let's swap the held items. Let's give Jolly uh, a citrus berry. No, give it to Pokemon. Thank you. And let's actually go. Let's start off with. Let's start off with the Ponyta. Even though I think. Even though I think that they're going to put a freaking water Pokemon in front of me. Watch like they're jerks. Let's go. All right, everyone. Get those H does bangers in the chat. Here we go, baby. Gym number seven. 
Here we go, baby. Here we go, baby. Gym leader Candice starts off with Snover. That's a good start for us. That's a very, very, very good start for us. Snow warning kind of sucks. But what can you do, right? We're going to flame charge and we're just going to go for high speed, high octane speed here. All right, one down. I think that we have over leveled for this gym. And I think we are about to smack this gym around a bit. We still need to be careful, though. Yeah, we are very overleveled for this gym. We're going to smack this gym around. I think at this point in the game, we are going to be overleveled until the Elite Four, which is fine by me. I don't care. More flame shards. Let's go. So we got to look out for a sturdy or a focus sash. I don't think there's going to be any focus sashes this early in the game. So we got to look out for a sturdy. That's the only thing that could really mess with us right now. Or a Pokemon that can take a fire hit. A Meta Cham is actually not necessarily something we want to see here. That that could be a little weird. Let's go for the chance for leaving a burn. Let's flame wheel. The bulk up. All right. Now, the bulk up would be a problem if I wasn't very confident that we could just flame chart. Yeah, this thing's dead. There's no way. Even if it has a priority attack, this thing is dead. Okay. Time for the last Pokemon. Let's see what they got. Level 40. They're catching up in levels. Hollow Raven hits 51. Let's go. All right, here she goes. Here's the banger of the Pokemon. Hail has put us down about a fourth of our HP. Obama comes out. Oh. So Obama can take some hits. But I think that we still got this in the bag. The problem is, is like, what if we get hit with like a super hard earthquake, right? Well, okay, so Obama is grass ice. Even Earthquake is not going to be stabbed. I think we're okay. I think we're okay not to heal here. I think we just go full throttle with another Flame Charge. I think we're okay not to heal here. Oh, it's, it's times four weak against fire. Duh. Of course we were okay. It's times four weak against fire. Yeah, this, that was not, this, that, our Rapidash did not need anything to help with this battle. Let's go. We will not lose a Pokemon in this gym. Doubters, you got a, a fat payout here. We will not lose any Pokemon in this gym. Seventh gym, seven badge. Let's go. Boom, baby. <laughs> uh, icicle badge what do we get here sticker all right so now we have access to rock climb we can go back throughout the whole game there's so many different rock climb locations we got avalanche it takes if the user takes damage the moves power is double if the if the user takes damage the move so what if you take damage from like your partner right you could you could have your partner in a doubles hit you, and then you could avalanche or something, right? Okay, seventh badge acquired. I didn't know Obama was in this game. <laughs> seventh badge acquired. We're doing pretty good here. Our team is nice and over leveled. So we really shouldn't have much problem with these early gyms here. I think we're not going to have a problem until the Elite Four from here on out. And the occasional really sketchy situation 
where we like have a Pokemon out in front of a Pokemon that it really can't deal with. I think otherwise we are we are doing pretty well here as far as our team and being over leveled. I, I think that I'm okay with that. Normally I don't like being over leveled in a Pokemon game. But like this time around, I'm completely okay with it because we are doing a Nuzlocke and like it's for me it's like whatever like just, as long as I don't lose Pokemon this late in the game I'm, I'm pretty happy yeah what's up Nabia how you been so <laughs> all right common misconception all right let's go to this lake and and do this stuff we have some, we have a quest to do so let's go figure out what we have to do with this late quest before we can go to that snow temple or whatever. Oh, wait, they moved. Oh, so we couldn't go through here until we beat the gym. Oh, we, we couldn't even go through here until we beat the gym is what I'm realizing. So they, they weren't even going to let us through here. I'm glad we did the gym first. Let's just get out of here. All right, let's go. Kind of hard not to be. Yeah, specifically in this game because of the XP share mechanic, right? But I grind. Like, because I wanted to play this game in my free time, but I didn't want to progress the story. So I'll be 100% honest with all of you. I grinded off stream a little because I didn't want to grind on stream because, like, I just wasn't about that. So every once in a while, I'll, like, stage content on Twitch. So I decided to stage a little content and, like, clean up my team a little bit and, and, and grind a little. So I also didn't help with the with the whole over level thing. Your Pokemon aren't bad, but you're laughably weak. Yo, you better you better be ready to battle. Okay, so she said, don't waste your time coming to our HQ. Is it time that we go to Team Galactic's HQ now? Oh, Ganon has to be tougher. Are we doing viewer battles? Because if so, I need to buy this game. Um, We've done viewer battles in the past. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if I play if I play this game after we beat it, it'll involve us doing group stuff in the underground and it'll involve viewer battles and stuff like that. Um, I don't buy the game just for that, though, because I don't know how much of this game we're going to play after we beat it. I plan my plan right now is to play it occasionally on the side next to our other game. You know me with plants. You know me with plants. So. But that, that is the plan to keep playing this game. And do like cute little viewer stuff. Viewer underground stuff. Battles. We even talked about running another tournament. So in Sword and Shield, we did a tournament. We did a little tournament. And it was a lot of fun. So we, I could see us doing some more of that stuff as well. They're really cute, especially when they talk about starting a new world. Those evil cuties. Oh, I love the music at the lakes. I, I absolutely love the music at the lakes. Why, why is it actually really good? I'm assuming there's some low-level Pokemon up here. Okay, no, it's the same Pokemon that were found all over the mountain, most likely. They're like level 30s. Guess we'll just kill the Sneasel. 
how heckin' cute are these graphics? I think these graphics are super cute. I agree with that. I think they did a good job on this game. They did a good job on these remakes. I think the graphics are very cute. I think um, the quality of life blended with nostalgia is on point. That would be sick. Now we're talking age, dude. <laughs> now we're talking. Cozy hitting 52. Shooby dooby 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 doo. Dooby 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 doo. This game's OST is amazing, the nostalgia. Alright. Um, we have Thunderbolt, so we could just kill anything that attacks us. I don't think we have to go in here. I don't think there's anything in here for us. Yeah. Yo, what's up, Rotten Poppy? Welcome back in here. You get to a region where Team Rocket has secretly taken over the Elite Four. Now, wouldn't that be such a cool plot for a Pokemon game? How's Pokemon? So far, so good. We've been playing for about two hours. Uh, Pokemon, anyways. And we... We um, just got our seventh badge. Now we have to do some quests. Where I think we have to go to Team Galactic's Fortress. They want us to head to Team Galactic's HQ, yep. So they want me to go and beat Team Galactic. They use the Pokemon League as a way to recruit 10 year olds. <laughs> this is sounding like a cult more and more. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I've been playing Final Fantasy because of Endwalker. Yeah, Endwalker looks good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Endwalker does look good. I love this game. Is there a trick to staying on top of the snow? No, I, I think maybe it's not running. I think walking. Is there's like a cheese and pickles? There's a way to just walk in the game using your D-pad. I think if you just walk on the snow, you probably don't fall in it. Right? Like, that's what I think. I'm really not sure. Yeah, we do have an Alakazam. Oh, speaking of, why don't we have our Pokemon following us? Hey. All right, Team Galactic's HQ, I think, is up here. Hey, it's you. I bet you don't remember me. I'm sure I remember you because... Of you, they took away my Clefairy away. My partner called it quits and went back to his hometown. I don't know anything about any storage key. Wait, what do I what do I do with the storage key? Huh? I don't remember. I'm gonna wait to the the end of next year to play Endwalker because there's a lot of login issues. Yeah, you know, those new MMOs, login issues. Nice! The key snapped off on the inside. Ooh, we got a Dusk Stone. Ooh. Wait, is this the secret base? Did we just find the secret base on accident? Should I have gone to the other building first? I think we just found the base. Oh yeah, we're in the galactic base right now. Oh, frick. Can I change my clothes? Um, there is a way to change your clothes in the game, yeah. I don't remember how. I think there's a certain shop, there's a certain city with a... There's a certain city with a place where you could change clothes or something. Okay, now these Pokemon are getting up to level 40. The commander battle here might actually be worth our time. Here, I got your back, Rosie. Add points. 10,000. Wait, even I don't remember my stuff. Add points all. 
10,000. Here you guys go. I want a Pokemon game where you could join the bad guys. Now that would also be sick. Oh, now you got the double up, Rosie. 20,000? Rosie, stop, stop that. <laughs> this door doesn't open. You need a special key to get in here. Oh, oh, wait, I'm just kidding. I got screwed. What's up, Novel? No, you didn't get screwed. I don't think it mattered. I wonder if there's any secret items in this place, and we should be... We should be using our handy-dandy item detector. Coliseum, you were technically bad before you chose sides. There you go, so Pokemon Coliseum did have some of those vibes, yeah. Coliseum was unique in so many ways, so that makes sense. You really like exploring this place? Mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Is this place big? Is this is this like a big building? I would die for a Hylian playthrough of Coliseum. Maybe one day. I'm collecting. I'm collecting myself like a, a game. I got I got a way to play GameCube games, you know. So those games are super expensive, but. Maybe one day. I might eventually mod out a Nintendo Wii and play a bunch of games completely legally on my Wii that I didn't purchase, but I still am playing legally. <laughs> and I think I, I might play Coliseum that way one day. Because, like, Coliseum's super expensive. So is, um... Coliseum as well as uh, XD, Gale of Darkness or whatever. Mm -hmm. Good to see you in here, Boy Star. Yeah, yeah, it's the same here. Any really sought after GameCube games are well over 50 bucks, well over. Wow, the music here is so jazzy. I'm the gruntiest of grunts. What do you say? I'm a Team Galactic member, but I don't even have a Pokemon. I'm the gruntiest of grunts. My fault though, I still don't know how the warp panels connect. Ooh, warp panels? Ooh, it's a warp panel dungeon. Ooh. All right, chat, I'm gonna pause here.